Welcome to another gripping episode on popular history, where we unveil the extraordinary tales of yesteryears. Today, we'll journey through the contours of Roman history during a particularly compelling era, from the reign of Septimius Severus in 197 AD to the times of Alexander Severus in 222 AD. Hold on tight as we delve into an age of ambition, strife, and transformation. Envision the mighty Roman Empire at the twilight of the second century, a behemoth of power and culture, yet on the brink of a new age. There emerges a figure of cunning and strength, Septimius Severus, a man who sees the purple by both providence and sheer force. His ascension in 193 AD, following the year of the five emperors, brought stability with an iron hand. Septimius's reign was marked by military campaigns that expanded Rome's frontiers and fortified its standing among the nations. However, the true testament to Septimius's legacy was not just territorial conquests, but a transformed Roman structure. He bolstered the army, both in numbers and loyalty, by increasing pay and enhancing its role in politics. Yet, as military might grew, so did its influence over the imperial seat, a double-edged sword that would eventually slice into Rome's governance itself. Then came Caracalla, Septimius's infamous son, notorious for his fratricide and for granting Roman citizenship to all free inhabitants of the empire with his Antonine constitution, a desperate bid for both popularity and increased taxation. His tyranny, though, was cut short in 217 AD, but it paved a path wrought with blood and treachery that led to the brief and unremarkable rule of Macrinus and then to 13-year-old Elagabalus. Known more for religious eccentricity than for governance, his reign would taint the Severan dynasty. Yet his murder in 222 AD cleared the way for his cousin, Alexander Severus. Alexander, known as a moderate and capable ruler, was more puppet than emperor, with strings pulled predominantly by his mother, Julia Mamea. His reign, an attempt to restore dignity and order to an empire in the shadows of his predecessor's excesses, would eventually succumb to the tragic tune that became all too familiar, a military coup d'etat, a fate sealed by his soldiers in 235 AD, sparking the crisis of the third century. As we witness the rise and fall of emperors, from the cunning Septimius to the youthful Alexander, the Roman Empire showcases its resilience, its fragility, and the ever-turning wheel of fortune that spins throughout history. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey through time on popular history. If you've enjoyed unraveling the past with us, please do show your support with a like and hit that subscribe button. Your engagement allows us to continue bringing history to life. Until next time, keep exploring, because history is indeed full of stories waiting to be told.